Why, hello there. Did you have any trouble finding this place? I know it's very tricky to navigate these mountain roads. Oh, that's good. I'm glad that you showed up. Wow, you are absolutely beautiful. I mean, that outfit just fits you so well. I like that you went with an all-black attire. It's very fitting. <laughs> well, why don't we take a quick stroll over to the picnic area? Yeah, I, I thought that we would have dinner under the moonlight. More romantic, if I say so myself. <laughs> and because I know that safety is a huge priority for a woman as gorgeous, stunningly gorgeous as you are, I made sure that the park bench was in close proximity to the local park ranger cabin. Well, I would never do anything, but I just wanted to make sure I covered all my bases. You never know who or what might try and attack. <laughs> Anyways, sit, sit. I actually brought us a big picnic. Let's see here. I brought us both some protein. So for you, I made your favorite. Yeah, of course. I mean, I did want to impress you. <laughs> As for me, I actually made myself some steak. Normally I would offer, but since it's prepared in, in, a, in a rather... <clears throat> in a different way, I don't think you would have liked it. Um, oh, anyways, um, I also brought you a mini Caesar salad. And for your dessert, I went to the baker and purchased an individual slice of chocolate cake. Hmm. <laughs> yes, I have read that chocolate has certain effects on you humans. Oh, well, I appreciate your concern, but this steak is good enough for me. I would rather make sure that you are well fed. <laughs> oh, stop. I'm nothing special. I just care is all. Anyways, please, eat. How is it? Did I make it the way you like it? Hmm. I'm glad. So, tell me about you. How has online dating been treating you? Ouch. That must suck. Some men can be such trash. Actually, no. They're boys. Guys like that, in my opinion, do not deserve to have someone. Especially someone like you. <laughs> oh, um, me? Hmm, well... I honestly haven't had much luck as of lately. Yeah, you, you would honestly be surprised on how many women nowadays swipe past us vampire men on dating apps. They act like we are those uh, beta male vampires like in Twilight. I even had one woman who looked like a decent individual judging by her bio tell me almost verbatim 
Um, you don't look like my type. This one hurts your little feelings, right? Like, you're not going to find where I live, and I'm going to catch you brooding in the rain, looking through my window, are you, Sparkle Fairy? I don't even look remotely close to them. And and honestly, it, it sucks because, I mean, I mean, come on, you would think with the growing popularity of Vampire Diaries, True Blood, hell, e even those animes like Vampire Night, uh, uh, Castlevania, uh, Helsing, Diabolic Lovers, all, all that, that maybe, just maybe, we had some testosterone flowing through our bodies. Like, maybe some of us actually let the animal in us loose. Hmm. My animal can be quite vicious at times. But I like to keep him under control. Unless I need to assert my dominance. Well, I'm not going to reveal all my secrets. Vampires being mysterious isn't just a stereotype. <laughs> I mean, isn't it true that, and I quote, a lady's got to have some secrets? <laughs> Anyways, tell me about yourself. Ah, cool, cool. <laughs> no way, that's so cool. Hmm, interesting. Well, you can't win them all, right? <laughs> Neat. How long have you been doing that? Wow, awesome. <laughs> That's pretty cool. You seem like such an interesting girl. It sucks that some guys were... Too trashy to see that. Hmm. Well, I guess it's my turn, right? Um, before I answer, how's, how's your meal? Is, is it good? Oh, great. Awesome. Oh, um, I almost forgot. Here, have a water bottle. I sometimes forget that humans need water to survive. <laughs> Anyways, well, first things first. My name isn't exactly what I made it on my profile. That long, exotic name is actually my middle name. Uh, feel free to just call me Connor. Although I may look like I'm in my early 20s, I'm actually 215 years old. I know, right? I mean, I look like I could blend in with some college freshmen. <laughs> Anyways. Um, as far as work goes, I actually work for a company that makes and distributes blood transfusion machines. I know, what a surprise. A vampire working with something blood-related. <laughs> I've actually been working there since I was, quote, 19. And now I'm, quote, 25. But I usually don't stay for very long. Not because I become purposely incompetent. I just leave to risk raising suspicion. Everyone around me just gets older and weaker, and yet I'm fit as a fiddle. Every, I would say, six years, I change jobs. And the day after I resign, I usually go out and job hunt. And then, a week later, I'm hired. 
No, 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 no. I, I just know how to use what I have to get what I want. Wow, I just realized how that sounds. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that's what I do to keep a roof over my head. Um, as far as hobbies, I like to go to the gym and swim. I like to cook and learn new recipes. And when I'm not doing that, I'm painting gothic scenery. Again, I know. What a surprise. That's pretty much about it. I'm, I'm not that interesting. Well, I mean, I do have one other hobby, but it's rather taboo. I mean, it's hard to find women that are into this hobby, so that's why I never bring it up. Plus, not many women can can handle it. Um, anyways, I'm guessing you want to know how I was turned, right? Hmm. I have unfortunately been on too many dates where I've been asked that same question almost immediately. You know, honestly, you're the first one that didn't break the ice by asking that. <laughs> well, to make a long story short, and honestly, it's one of the most generic turning stories. The year was 1814, and I had just turned 18. I was in the woods when I saw a woman walking towards me. Her white gown was covered in blood. Can you tell who turned me yet? <laughs> Anyways, I rushed to her aid, and she's talking in this really whisper tone, and I get closer and closer. I look at her, and she's beautiful. I mean, she looked like Kate Beckinsale from those Underworld movies. She turns to me and smiles in the most devious way possible. She... Her eyes glow this pale white. And then she pounces on me and... While straddling me, she pins my arms down. And then just bites into my neck. I don't remember much after that. But when I woke up, I was drinking her blood. And the night didn't seem so dark anymore. And from then on, she took me under her wing and taught me everything. She died in 1895 by being dragged out by the members of the church into the sunlight. Yeah, sorry, this just got dark. But <laughs> you wanted to know. Well, aren't you going to run away like the rest of them do? Hmm. Well, you're the first. Hmm. <laughs> May I hold your hand? Wow, they're so soft. And your nails, they're so clean and sharp. I like sharp nails. Hmm. I can feel the blood pumping through your veins in your hand. Say, do you remember when you said you liked the color of my hazel eyes? Well, how do you feel about the color red? Mm, that's, that's, right. Right. that's right. Look, Look deeper into, into my eyes. eyes. Come, come, on. On. come on, come on, come on. Let's go back to your car. Hold, Hold my, my hand. hand. Hold my hand. Hold my I would wait for something to take you away into the night. night. There's a good girl. Now. Unlock your car for me, and let's get into the back seat together. Good, good. 
Now just get on my lap. Keep looking into my eyes. Hmm. Good girl. Now, just tilt your head to the side. There we go. You taste delicious. Mm. Mm. Step out of it. We aren't done here. Oh no. Far from it. Can I just borrow your hands really quick? Don't worry. Don't worry. It's nothing. Nothing at all. Shh. Ha, 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 ha.